This merchant life. Oh, this merchant life. I very much hope that I will be a little bit better this time around because a number of you have been very helpful in the comments of the previous episode and I would very much like to do a little bit better economically as well as, <laughs> as well as, well, physically, as you can see by my player health. We did lose one heart from losing a battle in the previous episode as well. So that was not particularly good. So what we're going to do this time around is I am going to be hiring a couple of extra people here. And uh, maybe they're going to... Oh, can, can we not hire anyone else? I don't think we can hire anyone else. I think we are probably full up. Yes, we are full up. So do we want to fire someone? Do we want to fire someone? I'm not entirely sure. We've got two old soldiers and they are, they have two defense, but they only have one HP. That's pretty, uh, I don't know how good that actually is. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, we'll just, we'll just auto pay everyone. This is of course just my first run in the game still. So I'm not gonna do extremely well, let's just say that. Anyway, whoa, what do we have going on here? Look at this. There is currently a surplus of this resource. Prices are much lower than usual for 127 hours. So theoretically, I could buy all here. Now, someone said in the comments that if I do buy all, it kind of has a slightly, maybe an adverse effect on the pricing in general. Because what happens is that the prices, well, they update in real time. So basically, as soon as you have bought something, the prices will change. So if I just click here, as you see, look at that, the price changed at this area. So we're gonna, we're gonna, yep, look at that. It's going up. It's actually going up. So I, I think I can actually just buy all of these because I literally can for such a cheap price. And then maybe we can go somewhere else and we can try and uh, maybe, maybe do a mission or something like that. So collect peasants at Serenity, then return here. Let's take that mission. There's Serenity, it's over there, and I believe that meat is a higher, yes, yes, meat is a much higher price at Serenity. So let us travel there, and we will try our very best to survive along the way. We seem to be doing okay so far, that's not too bad. All right, so uh, yeah, collect mission, and this is a first visit here, so we gain a little bit of extra experience as well. And now technically what I could do is I could sell, look at this, I could sell for 42. So I'm selling it for double the amount. So let's sell a little bit and see, yeah, no, no, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna sell all of these here because that's given me at least the most minimal profit was 16 per one. So that's pretty good in my opinion because we bought it for, Mm, we bought it for around 20, didn't we? And we sold it for 36. So that's the the minimum profit that we would have gained per one. So I think that's pretty good. Otherwise, uh, is there anything else here that I really want to buy? I do want to buy something, but I'm not entirely sure what. Maybe we should buy some hides. The average cost is 47 to 53. And at the moment, it is 42. So that seems like a... Ooh, timber also seems really good. Let's buy some of this. And let's buy some hides as well. Uh, th see, now the average cost of timber is 24 to 26, whereas at the moment it is 17. So I'm just going to buy a whole bunch more of those. And then maybe we can go to the tavern, see if there's anyone really good here. Ooh, look at this. Now we've got Kirby here. Kirby looks really good. Soldier of Fortune. Hmm. Might be pretty cool to go with this guy. So I think I'm going to fire one of the old soldiers we'll we'll fire archibald i'm terribly sorry archibald you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go on your way and i will be hiring kirby yes let's hope that he doesn't take us into his dreamland just yet anyway we are going to be hopefully now returning back to archon but i really do want to check to see if there's another mission here uh, there's a chest to randos and I could donate. I'm not entirely sure what this... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I understand what donate means. Basically, I need to have these resources. So meat, timber, and whatever this icon is. I'm not entirely sure what that is at the moment. I'm not familiar with it. Grain. Ah, it's grain. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, personally, I don't really want to pick up anything. So I'm just going to travel back to Archon. 
and uh, it doesn't really matter because we're going to complete the next mission anyway and we are of course taking some trading goods back here as well so there you go we did gain 512 gold from escorting the peasants back there which is really nice and now we can also sell oh look at this <laughs> oh yes uh, this is excellent we are going to be able to buy some iron for a very good price indeed timber is actually selling for much more than it was to buy because we bought it for what 17 or something like that so i'm definitely going to be selling all of this and what about the hides i bought this for 44 and it's selling for 50 no you know i'm going to keep what we have right there and iron i'm going to buy all of these wow that is an absolutely insane deal right there that is really, really good. Fruit is also looking pretty nice as well. As you can see, fruit is currently at 52 and the average cost is 87 to 93. So we're gonna buy a couple of those too, even though I don't have that much space, which is kind of unfortunate. Maybe I can upgrade myself a little bit here. Uh, I can upgrade this. This increases my speed a little bit. I could get the reinforced structure. Oh, and it also allows the cart to carry more goods. Let's do that, there we go. So we got another expansion little thing there, and uh, we don't have any parts available, unfortunately, just yet for the uh, the parts area there. But otherwise, uh, let's see if there's any missions for us. Letter to Woodford. Ooh, that's 600 gold. Hmm. That's pretty nice. I'm, I'm very wary about the combat at the moment, so I don't know whether we'll be doing too much of that at, the, at, the, at this time, because I kind of want to be good at it i kind of want to make sure that we achieve victory because otherwise well these hearts are going to go down and then it's probably going to result in a game over or something like that and that's definitely not going to be something i would be too happy about so anyway as you can see we have another event here the swiftness of the attack is perhaps the most terrifying part that and the crossbow bolt buried in the cart just a few inches from your head before you know it, you're surrounded on all sides, ranged fighters taking aim from many angles, while heavily armored figures close in with swords, maces, and warhammers. Things are not looking good for you and your guards. Their leader seems to be a powerfully built figure now approaching in full plate armor, wielding a bardiche, an unholy union of spear and battle axe. The armored individual flips up the visor plate on their helmet to reveal a surprisingly friendly looking man with a bushy mustache. When he speaks, it is in a deep baritone. Hello, good merchant. I am Jagan, and these are my colleagues, the Battle Fighters of Jagan, or BFOJ for short. We are a forward facing, highly trained, and extremely professional band of warriors for hire. We don't like to use the term mercenary because that has connotations of untrustworthiness and ill discipline, which is very much the opposite of us. I hope you were not alarmed by our simulated attack, but we believe it is a valuable way of demonstrating two key points. One, that the roads can be perilous indeed, and two, we are extremely good at what we do. We are based in Archon, and I hope that if you have any security needs that you will consider us in the future find us in Aton. Well, I, I color me impressed. You congratulate Jagan and his forces on a truly memorable entrance and some spectacularly accurate crossbow work. Jagan seems delighted at this and says he hopes for a long and mutually beneficial arrangement between you both. He and his fighters say their merry goodbyes and head on their way. All right, so that, that was very nice. That was very nice. I mean, he was not intimidating to us at the very least not not uh, well initially perhaps but not not as uh, not as the conversation went on uh, you know, so that's pretty good anyway we have bravery plus and we have charm plus that's really nice and Aton is just over there so we're probably going to go there relatively soon all right so uh oh yeah iron is selling for a very decent amount of cash right here so we're just going to sell all actually just going to get a whole bunch of that and yeah hides i'm gonna buy some more hides i think because these usually sell for 47 to 53 and we could buy these for 29 that is a super good deal so we're just gonna buy oh uh, we might as well buy all of it why not we'll buy all of it and then we'll see what's going on at woodford here our hides doing pretty well here it doesn't seem like it, apparently the average price is just being sold here 
at Woodford. What about over here? No, nothing really going on there. What about heights here? That's below average. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for hides, you see. I'm looking for hides. Hides above above average? No, they are not above average here either. So it appears to me like we will just have to go to Woodford and then that's just how it's going to have to be. We'll just have to go there and we'll sell our hides there and then pick up whatever else we can. Ooh. Oh dear, what do we have here? After you spend long enough on the road, you start to feel as though every caravan, every cart, and every wagon has its own distinct audible signature. This may be utter nonsense, but you do hear Rafiq's caravan approaching before you see it, and somehow you are sure that it will be him appearing over the horizon. Duly, he does, seemingly aware that it's you from a long ways off as he gets up and waves from the front of his cart. Your caravan and his come to a half alongside each other, going in opposite directions. Hey yo, he shouts as a greeting. It is a pleasure to see you again, my fellow master of trade. We are like two legendary heroes meeting on the battlefield in some ancient long-forgotten war. We are rivals, but also friends. We can respect each other, even as we duel. You roll your eyes instinctively. He challenges you and your cart to a race against his, Half a mile back, he passed an old stone building that will serve as the finish line. Of course, there is a wager attached. Okay, so I unfortunately did not upgrade my wheels. And as a result, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose this, but it is only a 300 gold wager. And I'm not, I'm not too fussed about, you know, losing 300 gold potentially. And I think it could be a lot of fun to race him, so why not? Oh, we apparently won. Clearly he is confident in his victory. His cart sets off at a blistering pace, but yours is simply faster. You easily glide past him and reach the old stone building long before him. He is surprisingly magnanimous at his defeat and happily hands over the coins. Next time, he says, the result will be different. Okay, so we gain bravery and charm and we also gain 600 coins. As I say, I was not expecting to win this by any means, so that's really nice. Otherwise, ah, we have now reached level 3, and Jams is saying, Well, they say that you learn more from mistakes. I think that's a healthy way of looking back on the flaming wreckage of disaster that is my merchant life thus far. When I sleep, I can feel the interest on the debt in my dreams. It's characterized as a dark mass growing overhead, eager to devour the world. Jeff doesn't have much to say, unfortunately. So what I've divined from my now heightened understanding of trade is that I should probably try to make a bit of money so I can pay this debt off before it consumes me in, uh, entirely or utterly in this case. Yeah, Jeff, uh, thank, you for, thank you for the contribution to this conversation. <laughs> Turns out the coins are really important when you're a merchant. And our goal is now to gather 6,000 gold. Oh, I like that goal. That sounds like a fun goal to me. Let's explore. At first you hear a low buzzing sound behind you, like someone humming. The sound intensifies until you turn around and take in a rare sight, a honey wizard making their way down the street. Not walking, however, but floating a few inches off the ground. This mysterious sect of wizards are equally feared and respected across Peregrine. Legend has it that they were once ordinary druids who one day decided to just really, really specialize on bees. Instead of walking, they are normally seen floating along, carried by thousands of obedient drones within their long golden cloaks. In a fight, they can send a swarm of angry insects to attack mercilessly, and there aren't many good counters to a cloud of stingers. Alright, so we can either stay out of the way, which is probably best to keep a safe distance, or we can say nice things about the bees. You share, <laughs> you share the wizard's appreciation for bees, and you aren't afraid to say so. Uh, yeah, sure, we're gonna say some nice things about bees, why not? You have always liked bees, and indeed the honey they produce. You shout something to the effect of, Way to go, bees! And the wizards pause briefly to look at you. You can make out a smile under the hood before they fly off again. <laughs> it's always nice to be nice, is it not? I think it's, I think it's nice to be nice. Okay, so, wow, there's a whole bunch, oh, it would have been nice to sell some iron here, but that's okay. We still have some hides, and we can sell these for 48 gold. So I think we're going to do that. There we go. We get another 800. That's pretty nice. And now, is there anything here that I can really... Yeah, well, the hides, obviously, I've just sold those. 
so that makes no sense for me to buy those back right now. I could buy some timber. Eh, do I really want to do that? Let's go to the second page if there's anything else. Ooh, we could buy some herbs. Herbs might be pretty nice, but unfortunately herbs are extremely expensive by, def by default. So, ooh, okay. I think this is a good plan. We are going to go to Aten, because I would like to go and speak to Jagan, maybe about hiring his band of not mercenaries, and uh, we will then potentially be able to sell our herbs for a decent decent price. So let's buy, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm actually gonna buy everything. I'm gonna buy a huge amount. We're going to bet a lot of money on these herbs. And if it turns out to be an absolutely awful thing to do, then, well, that's just how it has to be. And, oh, it just so happens that we have a quest to go and collect a chest at Aton and then return here. That sounds like a good plan to me. And what, what is actually going on here? Look at this. We can even fund things. This is really nice. Okay, so we can fund a school. The next generation are the future of this world, and it'd sure be nice if they could at least count to ten. Uh, yes, I can't. Uh, anyway, uh, donate to the wedding. A joyous occasion can be made even more joyous with the addition of extra wine, even more colorful with a range of dyes. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to invest a thousand in the school here. Let's do that. Why not? That's going to give me plus one reputation per week. I always like these, these things, that, you know, whether it's a building or an item or something along those lines that does tend to give you some passive benefit over time. That usually has a really good effect in my opinion. So that's what we're gonna try for here. And otherwise, we now have a new tab appearing here. And this is our global reputation. Our global reputation is actually not too bad so far. And unfortunately, we have an enemy in the form of the Vanguard of Change, an underground political movement seeking drastic reform. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's a coincidence. Uh, don't don't come and see me. I'm not reformist in any way. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, let's uh, let's just move swiftly on. Here you can get an overview of the Kingdom of Peregrine. The initial tab shows your reputation with ten key factions and organizations within Peregrine. You can also see your global reputation, which is your cumulative reputation across all major settlements. Oh, okay, so that's that's relatively nice. I like that. It's it's nice to know that everyone's neutral with us, with the exception of the, those those guys. But hopefully they're not going to be too uh, <laughs> too popular in these parts. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. Mm, short term cart stat boosts last twice as long. Not a big fan of that, I gotta say. Uh, what is this? Deployment time start a battle increased by two. Everybody do something. We're under attack. Uh, that's. That might be pretty good. Plus one higher slots. Ooh, yes. I'm going to take plus one higher slots. I think that is definitely something that I really quite want because then we can go into the tavern and we can maybe recruit some more people. I will not be recruiting anyone from Woodford at this time. So, yeah, we'll we'll try and move on now to Atten. And uh, along the way, I am going to repair my cart because, of course, we need to. It is very, very damaged at the moment. So let's see if I can repair it. There we go, 253. And is there anything else I can do? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that you could get suspension. Ooh, that sounds really nice. I don't know whether to get improved spokes. I think it's going to be a pretty good idea to do so. And it's only 600 gold, so let's do it. Why not? That gives me a bit more speed. I am very low in gold at the moment. So that's definitely something to be a bit wary of. But let's take a look and see how much... Ooh, herbs actually sell for 95 here. That's pretty good. Yeah, that is above average as well. That is above average of the, you know, standard sort of price. And we bought these for about 60. So we're going to be gaining 30 gold on every single sale of these herbs. So I am just going to sell all. Boom. And now we have 2,000 gold once again, which is really nice. And otherwise, we do have some fruit left over. I'm not going to be selling my fruit here because the price is just too cheap for my liking. So otherwise, what else do we have here? I could buy some high. Oh, no. I <laughs> I sell the, uh, yeah, I sold the hides here. Yes. Okay. Well, let's, let's explore then. Wandering past one of the city's many parks, you are accosted by an elderly woman who drags you over to a nearby tree and points up into it, directing your attention to her cat perched up in the branches a good 30 feet up. This must happen a lot in Randos, since there are more trees than people and seemingly more cats than either. Alright, 
So we can either scare it down, you just need to make staying in the tree a less attractive option. We can climb, gravity is a harsh mistress, but you can do this. Or we can say, nope, we're going to climb. Because scaring it down I think could be a bit dangerous for it, but they do say that cats land on their feet, so maybe it wouldn't be too bad. But we're going to climb nevertheless. The tree is huge, but has lots of branches that look big enough to support your weight, so prove relatively easy to climb. You coax the cat from its skyward perch, and it clings to you as you make your way back down to the safety of ground level. The old woman says she will sing your praises to everyone in the city, and we gain plus five reputation and some bravery as a result. Very nice. Any other missions? Oh, <laughs> we have two missions at Atten. That's fantastic. Okay, we will do both of those, thank you very much. And I would like to take Tatiana, I would like to be able to recruit her to my party, but I would like to leave a space or two for the people at Atten because I would like to get some of Jagan's people, potentially. So we'll see what we can do about that. Okay, so there's the collect mission, and we'll do both of those. There we go. And what else do we have going on here? So let's see. Oh, yes, we can sell fruit here for a very nice, very nice profit. So let's sell a couple of extras of those. And wool is very cheap here. So I'm going to buy all of those. Going to buy all, absolutely going to buy all of those. And what else do we have going on? Nothing much. Yeah, seems like most of these things are all very expensive or just average, average prices. So nothing really to worry about there. Now, what else do we have going on here? Okay, so it, it, it seems like, uh, oh, Amity. Amity seems pretty good. Hmm. No hero to recruit, unfortunately. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, collect a letter at Woodford. Oh, yes, I'm going to... Wait a minute. Do I do I not have any... Uh, I thought I had some... Yeah, I have I have too many missions. I can't... Uh, <laughs> I can't take any more, unfortunately. I don't think. Can I? No, I can't take any other missions. Okay, so we're limited by the amount of missions we can take. I mean, that is kind of obvious up here. It says two out of two, so I guess that's how it is going to go. Otherwise, is there anything else I can do here? Ooh, we can... Oh, wow. We could even get a library, which is going to be 3,000 gold. That's going to give me three reputation per week, which would be really nice, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that at the moment. All right, so I have 1,900. I have nothing to buy here, which is a... Sh oh, oh, wait a minute. I do have... T Ah, no, I bought wool here, didn't I? Yes, okay, that's fantastic. Because wool is above average price in Randos, and that's exactly where we need to go to right now. So we're going to head back there and see if we can sell it for a decent amount. So let's have a look. Oh, oh, yes, thank you. This is exactly what I want to see. Oh, yeah, my monies, my monies. That is really, really nice. 3,458, that is exactly what we wanted to see. And uh, I didn't hire that person, did I? I didn't hire the person back there. Well, that was not very good of me, was it? Okay, so maybe I want to do something... Uh, should we get Hazel, the brawler? Should we get the brawler? Why not? Let's get the brawler. I mean, just in case. I mean, I've got a whole bunch of people here. Maybe I want to fire someone. Do I want to fire the other old soldier? Do I? I don't know, because I would like to have people with better fighting prowess, if at all possible. So either with huge amounts of HP or good amounts of fighting prowess, and the old soldier doesn't have either of those. The defense is two, which is good. Don't get me wrong on that. But I'm think I'm thinking we're gonna we're gonna try and get someone better. So we're gonna try and use Ethelberg right here, because that's another man at arms. Huge amounts of HP, so hopefully that's going to give us a little bit of survivability in combat scenarios. Of course, that really depends on if we even get into more combat scenarios. So anyway, let's uh, take a look at the marketplace, see if there's anything else here that we could potentially buy. Fruit is a bit cheaper. Yeah, hides are obviously still cheap because that's where we sold. Okay, well, whatever the case, let's just go to Woodford and uh, we'll see what's going on there. There we go, mission complete. Very nice indeed. Okay, so we gained another 700 gold, which is very good. Okay, so is there anything else that I want to get here? Is there anything really cheap? Ooh, we got some... Oh, yes, herbs. Did I sell herbs here before? Oh, now I'm forgetting things. Oh, that's terrible. No, I don't think I sold herbs here before, so I'm going to buy herbs. I'm going to buy all of them. 
And then we are going to try and see if, oh yes, herbs are above average price at Randos. Let's go back there and see what we can do. I'm hopeful that we will be able to sell them for a di Yes, yes, look at this. Very nice indeed. Now we have 3,300. Is that much better than what we had beforehand? Doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, well, never mind. We are going to buy some timber here because this is a very, very cheap price. Going to buy all of it. And now we are maxed out. So let's see. Are there any places with timber being above average pricing? I'm going to say probably not because most places have an overabundance of timber by the looks of things. Ah, Archon is really good. Okay, so let's have a look at the missions. Mm, collect a chest at Serenity. That doesn't really... I mean, it gives us reputation, yes, but it doesn't give us that much gold. Where is Serenity? Oh, it's over there. Technically, we could do that if we swing around to Archon and then we go to Serenity from Archon. That could work. We're going to just repair our cart a little bit as well. Let's get an upgrade to our rims. And let's get some carrots. A carrot-based motivation program will help spur your horse on to greater deeds. Sounds good to me. Let's do that. And we'll do some shoe upgrades as well. There we go. All right, so let's go to Archon once we've taken that mission. There we go. Okay, this is going to take 96 hours. We... Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, well, we are a scholar. Remember that. Our class is a scholar, so we are able to escape from battles a little bit easier? Anyway, you notice the birds first, flying away in some sort of a panic. Then the forest animals dash past. Then you hear it, a roar from the forest, not far from the road. When it comes bursting towards the caravan, all teeth and eyes, you wonder if it's the last thing you'll ever see. And... Mm, considering the way that this game is, they... See, here's the thing. The game tends to give you a very dangerous sounding situation and then it turns out that the danger is not actually danger but it actually turns out to be friendly people so it might just be that the monster wants to have some friends or something maybe it's a lonely monster or something like that so we're going to stand and fight and see what happens oh oh well sometimes we have to stand up to our demons you always took everything like literally okay so we are actually fighting this thing and we have this guy fighting this thing. I don't know what that is, but we're going <laughs> to... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, this is coming from here. A solitary enemy will attack from this direction. So who are we going to put in there? I guess we'll put Hazel... Oh, no, we can't put Hazel in there because they've only got one HP. A Soldier of Fortune? Yeah, we'll put the Soldier, soldier of Fortune in there. Can we, can we do that? Uh... Mm, yeah, can can I maybe can can I put more people? I may, maybe yes. I oh I can put more people. Oh, that's fantastic. I thought I oh I thought I could only do one per person, which would have been awful. So oh that's that's really nice. Okay, not enough deployment time left. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Let us go to the movement phase. There's the burrower, and we have a decent amount of damage potentially maybe it's got a lot of damage hasn't it oh, oh okay oh we, we did we, did we do all right i think we did all right okay let's get the brawler out there and then we'll get the local hunter to go uh, oh we don't have enough never mind we don't have enough deployment time that's fine all right so now we technically have a pretty decent amount of damage to be done but this thing has three attack which is kind of harsh Oh, we're doing damage to it. Yes. Yeah, there we go. We, Yes, we actually won. Can you believe it? And, uh, oh, now I'm kind of disappointed. Our cart is at maximum capacity, so we cannot loot the goods from the demon or from the monster or whatever it was. Ugh. Now I'm sad. Now I'm sad. Oh, well, never mind. I guess it's not too big a deal. It, unless it dropped the most powerful sword in the land, and then we would have had a really nice thing to... Oh, well, never mind. Really nice thing to sell. Okay, well, let's just sell our timber here. I'm going to sell everything here, and then we'll see if there's anything else that I can buy. Ooh, fruit is really good here. Fruit is really good. So let's buy a couple of pieces. Let's buy, let's buy ten. And is there anything else that we could do? Chest to Aton. We could do the chest to Aton. That might make sense. 
Is there anything else that I need to do? It seemed like my guys did a pretty decent job. So maybe I don't need to hire anyone else, at least not at the moment, potentially. And do I want to buy any more fruit? Uh, how is how is Serenity doing in terms of fruit? They don't really like fruit, so hmm. Seems like Atten does like fruit though. So you know what? We're gonna do that. We are going to buy more of this. I am putting myself at a pretty big disadvantage with my gold at the moment, but uh, I feel like we kind of have to because we are in a situation where if we if you don't spend the cash, then you're not going to make any cash. I, I could actually run out of money here. <laughs> oh no, this might be bad. Oh well. The hole in the road was so deep it may go down to the underworld, and the front right wheels went directly into it. Sometimes the most dangerous thing about traveling on the roads are the roads themselves. Patch them up the best you can. Okay, so the fighters are hurt. Ah, oh, that is not good. Okay. Well, hopefully they're going to be able to restore themselves as we go forward here. Let's collect this mission. And... Yeah, this is not looking too good. Uh, we could... Oh, we could buy some... Uh, we could buy some more timber here. That, uh, that doesn't really make sense. Because we'd have to go back to Archon to really make money with timber again. And I don't really want to do that. So, we are going to go... Peasants to Lancer. No, we're just going to go to Atten and hope that we don't have to spend any more cash along the way. Oof, we made it just in time. Okay, phew, that was a little close. Okay, so we are going to sell all our fruit. Boom, now we have 1,700 once again. Very nice. And is there anything else that I want to do here? Timber? No, not particularly. All right. I should check the missions. Peasants to Woodford. This does give me reputation. I don't know how effective reputation is at doing things in this game, so I'm gonna have to see how it goes with that. But I, I assume because it's giving me two every single time that it is gonna be pretty pretty good. Find roving cow in Woodford, Oxtown, or Archon for the search. Okay, let's do that. That's 750 gold. And where do I have to find it? Woodford, Oxtown. Where's Oxtown? Oxtown is all the way over there. Oh no. Okay, I hope it's not all the way over in Oxtown. That would be pretty bad. But I suppose we'll find out. Okay, so there you go. We get 181 and we also gain some re reputation and things like that. So that's always good. Is there anything else that I want to take here? Uh, I mean, I could buy some timber. That might... I mean, it's not really worth it, is it? Not that much. Oh, we, yeah, we could buy some hides. I keep saying that. I keep saying that every single time. Let's buy some hides. No, we don't want to buy some hides. Thank you. Brigands on the road to Woodford. Okay, I could do that, or I could search. Find the find best location in Oxtown. Oh. Okay, let's take that as well. Let's go to Woodford. And then on the way back, we'll restore our cart and repair it once again. Okay, so search mission. Are we going to find it? Did we, did we find it? I, I have no idea. I don't know, but maybe there's going to be some good prices here. Oh, the herbs have good prices, so let's buy some more herbs. There we go. Alright, let's travel back. So, nothing at Woodford here. That is unfortunate. I was very much hoping that there would be something there. And we can sell the herbs here, so we gain a little bit of extra cash from that. And now... Hmm... Yeah, okay. Ooh, dear. Okay, oh, what is going on? Oh, oh, it might be the same people. Is it? Is it not the same people? Oh, well, never mind. On first sight, this stretch of road didn't look much different to countless others you've been down already. Did you sense something was wrong after a while, or is that your mind playing tricks on you now, as the bandits rush from behind cover? Okay, so let's fight back. Nothing for it, but to be to ready for a fight. They may have the advantage of surprise, but you have the advantage of... something else. <laughs> I was. What, what do I have? Not much. Okay, so let's assign this guy. Uh, we'll assign this guy to help out. And then the Soldier of Fortune can go there. And now we don't have anything else. Okay, so let's do it. Technically, we should win this. Yes, okay. Oh, we did it. <laughs> okay, so battles are a lot simpler than I initially thought. And we did gain three ale from this as well, which is really nice because I've never bought ale before, so we might be able to make a little bit of extra cash from that. 
And there is currently a cut price on timber at the moment, which is kind of good. And what do I currently have to sell here? I have timber. <laughs> I have timber and ale. Ale is not doing very well here either. I could buy quite a bit of timber and then sell it somewhere else. Let's have a look and see if Arrow... Ale's doing pretty well there. And Ale's not doing very well over in Oxtown either. Uh, well, that is that is kind of a bit of a problem, but we're going to repair nevertheless, and I think that is going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.